Four teams remain in the Champions League. Paris Saint-Germain, Borussia Dortmund, AC Milan and Bayern Munich. We're taking on Carlo Ancelotti's Bayern Munich and this is going to be a fantastic end to the Champions League. Paris and Borussia, that's going to be a great little series and then us against Bayern. I cannot wait to start it and for some reason we always seem to do better in these Champions League matches and we always seem to do better against bigger clubs. I don't know why that goes on but in one day we have this game coming up against Bayern and a lot of my players are very tired for this match but I'm going to try to fit them into the lineup because I want to get into the finals. The actual management wanted me to get into the semi-finals within I think it was three seasons and we got it in the first season. That shows what kind of team we are in the Champions League. We obviously weren't able to win the Scudetto this season because Juve was absolutely on fire. Let's take a look at our youth academy. Luca Mariani, he's 56 overall. Alessio Conti, this is the guy that I signed last time. I said he might have been a right-sided player, and he is. He's a right midfielder. 61 overall, 78 to 94 potential. He's got some good acceleration and agility and balance. Some good curve, good ball control, good crossing. So he's going to be a decent player for the future. But as for right now, he's 15 years old, so we cannot promote him. And Breno Fernandez, who's 51 overall, 76 to 82 potential. I think if he, if he doesn't start increasing, then I'm going to let him go soon. But nevertheless, boys, it's inevitable. We have to play this match. Let's get into it. At the San Siro, taking on Bayern in the first leg of the semifinals of the Champions League. Now, I know technically Kovacic is still injured, but I'm going to keep him on the bench for this match if ever, if ever we need him. Because most of my midfields are completely drained. So our lineup is Donnarumma, Calabria, Rugani, Romagnoli, Rodriguez, Schneiderlin, Mauri, Bonaventura, Depay, Baca, and Niang. Bayern's lineup, Neuer, Lam, Hummels, Boateng, Alaba, Chan, Eriksen, Alonso, Müller, Lewandowski, and Costa. And if you saw during the pre-match presentation, for some reason Rugani is the captain. Uh, I guess I didn't even see when I was fixing the lineup that Romagnoli wasn't the captain so just pretend that Romagnoli is the captain I'm not sure if I can change it and this is a stellar lineup and no doubt in my mind that Bayern Munich are a fantastic team full of stars and this is going to be one hell of a game let's do this boys let's see if we can beat another giant in football we beat off Juve and just this uh, I have no words to describe this match Lewandowski out wide, but Mauri is just shadowing him and trying to stop him from doing something. Here's Emre Can. Emre Can, what's he going to do with it? What's he going to do with it? He sends that one out wide to Costa. Costa into the middle. Eriksen, Calabria tries to get the ball. Costa on the wing. Costa has got Lewandowski in the middle. Costa still on the wing. Tricky on the wing into Emre Can. And that's a good block by Bonaventura, who is honestly very, very tired right now. Jack. Play that one wide, Niang, Niang, Baca, that's a great ball, let's just hold it up, Baca, he's got Rodriguez coming in, Niang trying to take this one around Hummels, and another great block by the Bayern defense, who's arguably one of the better ones in Europe, Baca to Mauri, Mauri back to Baca, here's Baca trying to go for the finesse shots, uh, top left corner was going, it was going top left corner, a great little effort by Baca, and wide of Manuel Neuer. And the first half. Bayern haven't had any shots. We've had one which was off target by Baca. Let's get into the second half, boys. Try to stop them from scoring that crucial away goal. Depay has honestly not getting involved in this match at all. He's been relatively quiet. Here's Bonaventura. Coughs up the ball to Müller. Here's Müller. Müller on the ball. Great block by Bonaventura. Trying to regain the ball that he lost. Here's Costa. Costa, Mauri just shielding him. Mauri, referee, should be maybe a foul on that one, but Xavi Alonso recovers. Emre Chan, Emre Chan out wide to Costa. Costa, he's probably going to try to cross it in. That one's in two. Emre Chan, that's a block by Romagnoli, and that's going to be a corner. Romagnoli just putting his body in front of the ball. Donnarumma probably had the save covered, but Romagnoli with a great little block. Costa to Eriksen. Eriksen and Costa out wide, and Yang, let's just... Give this one to Mauri. Mauri, no. Niang could have gotten a better ball. Here's Lewandowski. Lewandowski to Alaba. And Alaba skies that one. Yes, Baca steals the ball off of Hummels. Here's Baca. Baca has got Niang. Play that one out wide. Niang. 
Yang into the middle to Schneiderlin. Schneiderlin tries to take the shot, and that's Thiago with the block. Alaba is going to get the ball. Can I find the space to Baca? Baca is going to start running, and Hummels. Great defensive play by Hummels. And Axel Witzel has come on as well for Bayern Munich. That is going to be a big blow if he scores because he was a Milan target, and he decided to go to Bayern. Here's Witzel. Witzel on the ball. Witzel gonna probably try and give this one to Lewandowski. The shot by Lam. That one goes wide at the post. Bayern Munich completely dominating this match. I haven't even been able to take a shot on target because every time I get into their half, it's just a block and a block and another block. Here's Mauri. Mauri, Calabria. Do we have something left? Calabria, Depay, Depay. Back into Mauri. Mauri trying to give it. Now Calabria. Calabria is going to push this one forward. Memphis trying to take this one around Alaba. And I think the referee is going to blow for full time. Nil-nil here at the San Siro. Only good thing to take from this match is that Bayern didn't score. Weren't able to take any shots because that defense of Bayern is absolutely ridiculously amazing. And nil-nil on aggregate. Monthly scouting update has brought us back Giuseppe Costa, 39 to 55 overall. And the only th reason why I'm keeping him in the scouting report is because he has 69 to 94 potential. And it looks like he could have good, I guess, physical stats. So we'll have to wait and see. Let's just keep him in the scouting report for one more month and see what they can make of him. And now we do have a game coming up against Napoli. So many big games in such a short amount of time. And I don't think we're going to be able to, you know, have fully rested players for that game against Bayern. 37 match in the Serie A, two games remaining. Let's get into this match coming up against fourth place Napoli. Had to rotate the lineup heavily. I want everybody fresh for that match. Donnarumma, Zabagosta, Gomez, Paletta, De Chilio, Kuchka, Locatelli, Saponara, Elgazzi, Belotti, and Labadula is going to be playing as a left winger for this match. Now, if you take a look at the table, we're actually secured to be in the second spot. Uh, but I would like another victory. And that's why I'm playing, you know, some of my rotation players in this match. Because my only focus is that Champions League game. We sit with 71 points and with two games left, Lazio and Napoli cannot catch up to us. So we finish second 100%. But let's get a good game going here. Let's get a good second to last game going. Maybe I might simulate the final Serie A match of the season if, you know... Uh, things go well in the Champions League and then maybe we could have the finals in this match this is a good run by Envia and that's a good block by Paletta but yeah let's try and do this let's try and get another victory and uh, further push our points total for the season here's Lapadula Lapadula trying to get that one into Belotti and that's a good block by Fred okay Belotti who's still a little injured he's got this avoid the sliding challenge why did you avoid it why didn't you try and fall and the referee's calling fouls for nothing right now. This game is so all over the place. It's not even normal. Nil-nil after the first half. Belotti, hopefully it's not too bad of an injury. And he can continue on in the second half. Here's Milik on the wing. Milik into the middle to Fekir. Fekir gonna try to take a shot. Paletas on him. And Gustavo Gomez with a block. Zabacosta with a block. Donnarumma with a save. Fred on the wing. Crosses that one in. Great save, Donnarumma. Clear this one away, Kuchka. Let's keep the clean sheet for Donnarumma. He is doing everything to try and keep the clean sheet. Labadula sends that one down to Belotti. Belotti. Come on, Belotti. It is not going good for you in the past couple of games. Here's Locatelli. Locatelli, Belotti. Belotti out wide to Labadula. Labadula to De Chilio. De Chilio with a bit of skill. De Chilio crossed that one in. It takes a deflection. Can't even get a simple cross in. Sabonara taken down in the box. No foul. Here's Labadula. Labadula, Kuchka. Kuchka, Locatelli. Locatelli. Back into Kuchka. Here's Kuchka into Locatelli. Locatelli tries to take the shot. That one's wider to post. Our first shot, I think, this match. End of this match, nil-nil. Two games in a row without a goal. Had some opportunities. Didn't want to go in. And now we have the second leg of the Champions League semi-final. Now, Labadula would like to discuss his wages. And honestly, I'm quite unsure as to what I'm going to do with Labadula. I know I was quite unsure at the beginning of the season. Then he started scoring... And uh, you never know. He could be like a people. He could be like a people in Zagi. He could be here. He could just be there. And uh, he can play in a few matches. So I think I'm going to offer him a new contract. I would like to keep him for another few seasons. Because he's 28. He's not going anywhere. He's not that old. And uh, we're probably not going to get that much money if somebody actually offers for him. So I think I'm just going to keep him until, you know, the remainder of his contract. 
He wants 60,000 per week, and that is something that I can offer him for no additional years and a squad rotation player squad role. So three emails, Gianluca Lapadula has accepted his contract. The national squad submission deadline is coming up for the FIFA World Cup, which is going to be on the 22nd of May. So we need to think of the players that I want to start bringing. And if we go to the player conversations tab, Baka would like to leave the club. Now, I'm going to keep him till the end of the season. Obviously, I, he can't go anywhere. But I think next season, like I said, I was going to sell him either way because he's decreasing in stats. He's doing very well in the Champions League. And uh, if we can get a few million euros for him, I'd be happy with that. I, st I still think he could go for maybe something like 15 million, something like that. But nevertheless, let's get into the semi-final. Baka, you're going to be starting. I know you're unhappy that you're not playing, but you're doing well in the Champions League. So there's no point of you complaining. Away at the Allianz Arena. Let's do this. Starting 11, Donnarumma, Calabria, Rugani, Romagnoli, Rodriguez, Schneiderlin, Kovacic, Bonaventura, Depay, Baka, Niang. Now on the other side, it finished 2-1 for Borussia Dortmund uh, against Paris Saint-Germain. So there's the second leg coming up. And if we get into the finals, we're going to be facing either way a humongous team, a great team. There we are lining up, Manuel Neuer in goal, who we weren't able to score past and we weren't able to really do anything last match. Let's see if it'll be a different outcome in this match. Bayern are at home in front of the home fans. They're going to get that boost, but we have the advantage if we can score an away goal. Here's Bonaventura. Bonaventura, full of energy, sends that one out wide to Memphis. Memphis, you know what? We're going to go for the little pass through. Baca is in the middle, and that is offside. I knew it was offside, but I didn't want to believe it. Baca scores. And it's offside, and that's what I get for scoring a sweaty goal against the CPU. Here comes Costa. Tricky into Alaba. Alaba, Lewandowski, Lewandowski, Romagnoli. Get on him, the shot, Donnarumma. How did he even make that save? What even was that? He made the save, but... Oh, my goodness. Good shots. Good save, Donnarumma. That is a good ball. Kovacic into the middle. Here's Mateo Kovacic. Send that one to Baka. Baka! What was that? Why does this game do that? When you're sprinting for some reason and you just let go of the sprint button and try to shoot, they like stop and then try to shoot. It's so weird. Rugani sends this one up and now that's the end of the first half. Baka, Calabria, Davide, into Kovacic. Kovacic, Bonaventura, Bonaventura, Schneiderlin. It's a good ball. Schneiderlin, Rodriguez, you know what, Rodriguez, I was going to go for a shot, but he blocked it, Bonaventura, Bonaventura, Kovacic, Kovacic, let's go for the shot, Kovacic, and it's off the post, Mateo Kovacic, who comes up with some crucial goals and some crucial moments, that didn't go in, Niang back to J uh, Jack, Jack, Baka, Baka, Niang, here is Niang trying to take this one in. Niang has got Baka. Can Baka go for the first time? Shot left foot. Never works for Baka. No, don't make Boatang turn. Don't make Boatang turn. Why are they on all out attack already? There has not been a stoppage in play in God knows how long. Haven't been able to make a substitution. Romagnoli is there. Depay, can we start a counter attack? Can we start a counter attack? Calabria. Calabria to Baka. Baka. Niang. Niang. Send this one. Yes, that's a great ball. Here's Davide Calabria. Calabria to Depay. Depay. Let's go far post Depay. Memphis had the game on his foot. 90th minute. That was game. That was game. Honestly, looking back at that, I maybe should have passed that one into Baca. And he could have finished it. I went far post with Depay. Probably going to be going into extra time. So that's why I haven't made a substitution yet. We're going into extra time in the semifinals. Mauri is going to be replacing Mateo Kovacic because his stamina is not where it should be. Julian Green, Rodriguez, try to take that ball off of him. Watch the cross in. That is a good block. And Rugani, just get this one away. Mauri can't hold on to that one. Here's Alaba. Alaba outside the box. Rugani on him. Good block. That one sent forward to Baka. Baka has got the pie. The pie. Who's all the way on that wing? That's Bonaventura coming forward. Jack Bonaventura. He still has the ball. Bonaventura into. Mm, okay, Baka. He's got it. Baka, get there. Get there, Baka. Get there, Baka. I think that's going to be a corner. No, that's going to be a goal kick. Oh, he's taken out of position. That's the end of the first half of extra time. Still no goals. Bonaventura. The pie. The pie. No, Memph. Here's Mueller. Mueller. No. 
Don't let him go. Don't let him. No, I knew it. He's going to pass that one in. Donnarumma with the crucial save. If we go through, that has to be down to Donnarumma. Just with... Oh, my God. The palm of his hand. He was going near post. Bayern get their first shot in a while. Now they've got a corner. Let's get this one away, Donnarumma. Good save, Donnarumma. Thank you. Just hold it and let's go to penalties. Just hold it and let's go to penalties. Sends that one out wide. And this game is going to be decided by a penalty shootout. Uh, we had the opportunities. Bayern with five shots, two on target. Us with five shots, three on target. And we're going into penalties, boys. Our best penalty takers are Rodriguez, Baca, Niang, Bonaventura. Uh, this is it. This is it. Let's do this. Bayern to start. Bayern Munich to start the penalty shootout. And it's Vidal. Arturo Vidal. He's going right. He's... Going left. That one's up to me. Rodriguez. Top left corner. Top left corner. Top left. Bottom left. Doesn't matter. It's into the back of the net. Neuer dies the wrong way. Here's David Alaba. David Alaba. Taking a long run up. A long run up. Let's go left. Let's go. And I even thought in my head. Let's go right. Baka. To take the penalty. Top right. Top right. He smashes that one. Bar down into the back of the net. Lewandowski. It's 2-2. Here's Lewandowski. Lewandowski. I'm going right again. I'm going right again. And Donnarumma made the save. Niang, please. Niang. Let's go bottom left. Let's go bottom left. That one's past Neuer. Had me scared a bit. Can't believe Donnarumma made that save and didn't save it. Costa. Costa. Donnarumma. Great save, Donnarumma. Here's Bonaventura. Bonaventura. I'm going top right. I'm going top right. Yes. Bonaventura. It's down to this. It is down to this. If Donnarumma can make the save, we are into the finals. Here's Thiago. Thiago Donnarumma. He's going right. He's going right. He is going right. And we're getting into the finals. Oh. Donnarumma made two saves in this penalty shootout. I guessed them correctly. And just like that, we have taken this one into a penalty shootout. We lasted two legs against Bayern without conceding a goal. And this is ridiculous. First season in Champions League, we have made it to the finals. Honestly, honestly. Bayern, great fight. They had some opportunities. Donnarumma, thank God for that save. Honestly. Donnarumma played the game of his life and he only got a 7.1 match rating but we're getting into the finals and let's see who we're gonna be matched up against in the Champions League final. Now like I said this match doesn't matter and it's coming up against Fiorentina so I fixed up the lineup a bit and we're gonna simulate the final match of the season. Let's auto replace the unavailable player just for this match and I've rotated quite a bit. So Donnarumma, Zabagosta, Eli, Paletta, Antonelli, Kuchka, Saponara, Locatelli, El Gazzi, Belotti, and Marco Colombo is our starting 11. And Saponara is kicking us off with a goal in the 7th minute. Antonelli picking himself up. A yellow card. Rossi gets the goal in the 22nd. Antonelli with a 26th minute red card. Got himself another yellow. El Gazzi scores the goal. Bonaventura's coming on for Locatelli. 60 minutes in, nothing else has happened. 70 minutes in, nothing else has happened. Can we get a goal or at least some action in this match? And the match is going to finish as a 2-1 victory to end the Serie A season. We finish in second place and I was pushing for that Scudetto by Juve. We slipped up some games and they just completely destroyed the table. And we're taking on Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League final. And honestly, I'm going to put all of this in this episode because this is going to be the fourth and final game of the second season. So yeah, let's wait a few days and then get straight into it. So here's going to be the 23-man roster for the FIFA World Cup. Donnarumma, Pere, and Buffon. I had to include Buffon, obviously. Bonucci, Chiellini, Florenzi, Darmian, Arcerbi, Romagnoli, Rugani, Zabagosta, De Cilio, Verazzi, Marchisio, Saponara, Baselli, Bonaventura. Then we have Insigne, El Sharawi, Gabbiazzini, Berardi, Balotelli, and Andrea Belozzi. And honestly... I'm thinking I just want to bring La Padula because he got called up in real life and I would really like to bring him 
and it's it's just tough because we have a lot of center backs. Maybe I could take out. Honestly, I'm gonna take. You know what? I'm gonna take out Acerbi because that many center backs. One, two, three, four, and I, I honestly we're not gonna need that many uh, center backs. So let's go bring in Lapadula. And uh, yeah, just bring him into the into the I guess the FIFA World Cup team. Let's see what he can do. He's there. So now the updated attack is Insigne, El Sharawi, Gabbiadini, Berardi, Balotelli, Belotti, and Gianluca Labadula. That is our 23-man roster for the FIFA World Cup. You guys will probably be seeing that in the next episode. Some player contracts are expiring. Paletta, Antonelli, and Modic. Uh, Modic, he's on loan at I think Benevento. And um, he's 22 years old. He's from Bosnia. I don't know why I had to mention that. And he's 68 rated. So I think I'm just going to extend his contract. And let me know what you guys want me to do with Paletta. Uh, Antonelli, I'm going to let him go. But Paletta, honestly, he has not decreased in any stats. He's been going strong. And just to be like a reserve, reserve player... You guys should let me know what I should do with Paletta. I think I would like to at least extend him for one more season. You know, it, it wouldn't hurt to have him there for some Coppa Italia matches. But Antonelli, I'm going to be letting go. Let me know what I should do with Paletta. We're in familiar territory for this final. We're playing at the Stadio Olimpico. That is the venue for the Champions League final. Donnarumma, Calabria, Rugani, Romagnoli, Rodriguez, Schneiderlin, Kovacic, Bonaventura, Depay, Baca, and Yang. We've got Suzo on the bench because I know he'd love to play... Let's do this. Let's get into it. Dortmund going with Burki, Ginter, Bartra, Bender, Guerrero, Weigel, Roda, Dembele, Royce, Gotze, and Haller. 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 Something. He's French. He came from Utrecht. And uh, it said he's a player to watch. This is a Champions League final playing during the day. That is weird. They're talking about Suzo. They're probably saying that, you know, he's ready to play. He's fit to play. But... I didn't want to put him in the starting 11. Let's do this, boys. Let's do this. This is it. This is what we work for. This is what we've freaking worked for. I know we couldn't win the Scudetto, but what a sight it would be if Milan could win the Champions League in their first year back. Let's do this coming up against an incredible Dortmund side. And I don't know where... Um, I was about to say don't know where Marco Reus is, but there he is straight away on the ball. Bonaventura, Bonaventura, Kovacic, Kovacic, to Baca, Baca, Depay, Depay, that one's to Baca, can Baca go for the finish, can Baca go for the finish, good shot by Burki, chips that one back in, and Burki is there to catch that one, Yank, Schneiderlin, Schneiderlin, Bonaventura, Bonaventura, that was for Kovacic, it went to Baca, here's Baca fighting, trying to get the ball, good block by Bartra, Nice block by Baca. Here's Baca. Kovacic. Kovacic right back to Baca. Can Baca go for the finish? Baca! Puts that one into the back of the net. 18th minute. We've taken the lead in this final. And it's Baca the goal scorer. Steals the ball off of Royce. 1-2 with Kovacic. And a great finish for Carlos Baca. That's going to be his 7th goal in the Champions League. And I think he might be 2nd or 3rd top scorer. 19 minutes in. We have taken the lead in this final. That's a great ball over to Usman Zembele. Zembele, Calabria in, Romagnoli. Oh my goodness, I thought that was going to be a Romagnoli own goal. You never know what happens. Romagnoli heads that one away. And here is Dortmund with a 45th minute corner. Gotze on the ball. Gotze, a wide to Roda. Roda, um, Haller being blocked by Kovacic. Bonaventura gets it. Come on, do we have one last attack? Kovacic. Niang needs to start running, and that ball can't even make it to him. Good block by Bartra. Guerrero is going to pick it up. Baca trying to fight and retrieve the ball. That's the end of the first half in this final. Goal scored by Baca. Let's get into the second half. Could be the last 45 minutes of our season if all goes well. Nice interception by Kovacic, but it finds its way back to Haller. Haller outside the box. That one's into Dembele. Donnarumma, great save. Royce with the ball back outside, and... Once again, Donnarumma making the saves, showing why he's one of the best keepers in the world, even at this age. They've got themselves a corner here, and they're going to play it short. Here is Gotza, Gotza, Kovacic, stay on him, stay on him, Kovacic into Haller. Haller sends that one to Guerrero, takes a deflection, and Donnarumma is going to grab that one with ease. Nice block by Schneiderlin, Kovacic, Schneiderlin, Schneiderlin, Bonaventura, back up, I mean Memphis. 
Here's Bacca. Bacca to Memphis. Memphis into the middle. Bonaventura. Bonaventura to Schneiderlin. Schneiderlin hold it up. Into Bacca. Bacca, let's go for the shot. Good save, Burki. And maybe wanted to... The initial pass was not for Bacca. It was for Niang who was coming forward. Just not enough power. And Bacca takes the shot. And it was threatening. It might have gone in if... I don't know. He maybe... I don't even know. Crossed that one in. There's the pie. And an easy save for Burki. 75th minute. We have 15 minutes left in this match. We're gonna bring in Suzo because I know he wanted to play in this match. And I'm gonna grant him that wish. He's coming on. The pie is coming off. And Calabria, let's just bring on some fresh legs in Zapagosta. Nice, Schneiderlin. Schneiderlin steals the ball. Here's Baca. Here's away. Can Baca seal the deal? Baca! Burki has made so many saves and he's keeping them in the game if it wasn't for him it could be maybe two three nil he's made so many crucial saves and Baca could not finish that one in the 88 minute here's Kovacic Kovacic don't lose the ball like that there's Royce and that one goes out for a throw in one minute left of regular time we don't know how much is added on Suzo losing the ball there Three minutes of added time. Three minutes of added time. Rugani stay on Haller. He crosses that one in. Romagnoli is there. Zabacosta clear that one away. Okay, that's going to go out for a throw in. And Dortmund trying to press for that late, late equalizer. He sends that one in to Royce. Royce Hazard. Hazard on the ball. Ginter. Here's Ginter. Ginter in. Haller takes the shot. He misses. And that's going to go out for a Donnarumma goal kick. Send this one up the field. Are we going to be crowned the champions of European football? Baca gets to the one. Here's way on the ball and that's it, boys. We have won the Champions League in our first season back. I have no words. Baca sco scored the goal in the 19th minute. And Dortmund. We beat Dortmund. We beat Bayern Munich. We beat Juve. And we beat Wolfsburg to make it here into the finals. And full credit to Dortmund. They put up a good fight. They defended well, just that goal by Baca, they were split open, and he slotted that one into the Baca net. And that's going to end the season, boys. We finished second in the Serie A. We were out of the Coppa Italia before we were even able to get into the, um, I think, round of 16 or the quarterfinals or something like that. It wasn't an impressive showing in the, in the Coppa Italia. We were a little bit better in the Serie A. I know Juve just completely destroyed the table, but this is where it matters most. This is what I wanted. I wanted to focus all my energy on this Champions League and we're crowned the champions here at the Stadio Olimpico. Alessio Romagnoli lifting up the trophy as the captain. Thank you guys so much for watching the second season. I'll be back with international management and the third season. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, you can leave me a like. And I will see you next time. Do it! Do what? Just do it! Okay, do what? Do it! Subscribe to my channel. But I already am subscribed. Oh. So subscribe to my second channel. And also, follow me on Twitter at TheNobsYT. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just... Do it! But I can't. Yes, you can! Oh, okay.